Ahoy, my fellow seafarers and cruise connoisseurs. It's March the 27th, 2024, and you've just set sail with us on another episode of Madison's Cruise News Corner, where the ocean's vast and the news is vast. I'm your host, Madison, ready to navigate through today's swells of carnival stories with the grace of Gary dodging his news duties. Now, while today's waters may be a bit stormier than usual, fear not. We're all about keeping the boat steady and the spirits light. Just think of us as the cruise directors of news, ensuring a balance of informative and entertaining, even when the seas get a bit choppy. First up, it seems the Carnival Freedom has decided to live up to its electrifying name, quite literally this time, with a lightning strike sparking a bit of a firework show. Then, peeking through the horizon, there's a new vessel joining our Carnival family. This ship is not just a beacon of luxury. It might just have the culinary prowess to settle the great breakfast debate. Will the burrito bow down to the French toast? Only time will tell. Then we are covering the key bridge collapse in Baltimore that has led to an unexpected detour for the carnival legend. So let's raise the anchor and set off on today's journey, keeping in mind that no matter the news, we're all in the same boat, sharing laughs, stories, and a love for the high seas. Let the adventure begin. In a dramatic event this past Saturday near the Bahamas, the Carnival Freedom encountered a fiery ordeal when it caught fire, potentially after being struck by lightning during a storm. While the exact cause is still under investigation, the incident led to significant damage, particularly to the ship's exhaust funnel, which fell onto the deck as a result of the fire. In a quick response, the captain steered the ship into heavy rain, aiding in the extinguishment of the flames within approximately two hours. Thankfully, no passengers were harmed, though two firefighters received treatment for minor smoke inhalation. Despite the scare, the ship's crew managed to maintain a semblance of normalcy, with passengers attending their scheduled dinner that evening, though the affected deck area was closed off. The Carnival Freedom has since returned to Florida, leading to the cancellation of its next two cruises to allow for necessary repairs. Affected passengers will receive a full refund and a credit towards a future cruise. Carnival has confirmed. <laughs> We've got some ship-shaped news that'll float your boat and possibly change your breakfast debates forever. Carnival Corporation has just inked a deal for a fifth XL-class cruise ship set to join the high seas fleet by 2028. That's right, folks. Our beloved Carnival is expanding its nautical family, and the excitement is as palpable as Gary's enthusiasm for taking over the main show. With a lineage that includes the Mardi Gras, Carnival Celebration, and Carnival Jubilee, this new vessel is set to continue the legacy of its illustrious predecessors. But the burning question remains, what will this sea-bound marvel be named? Given Carnival's history of fun and festive names, let's have a little fun imagining what they might christen this floating extravaganza. How about Carnival French Toast? A nod to the eternal breakfast debate, this ship promises syrupy adventures and buttery relaxation. It's the perfect name for a vessel where every morning feels like a lazy Sunday brunch day. Trevor would call it the Carnival Rigamaru. For those who love a bit of mystery and confusion with their crews, the Carnival Rigamaru promises a journey filled with unexpected twists, turns, and perhaps a hidden deck or two. It's Trevor's navigational skills in ship form, but I kind of like the Carnival Sea Serenade. Because what's a cruise without a bit of romance and melody? This ship would cater to the lovers, the dreamers, and of course, those who can't resist a good karaoke night under the stars. With the promise of being powered by liquefied natural gas, LNG, and designed to carry over 6,400 guests and 1,800 crew, this new addition is more than just a name. It's a commitment to sustainable sailing and unforgettable experiences. So whether it ends up being the Carnival French Toast or the Carnival Rigamaru, one thing's for certain, Carnival's latest will be a vessel where stories are made and memories are cherished. Stay tuned, sea enthusiasts, as we await the official name reveal. And remember, no matter what it's called, 
The real magic happens when you're aboard, feeling the ocean breeze and living the cruise dream. Now, back to dreaming about my favourite breakfast item, the ice cream. In a recent announcement, Carnival Cruise Line addressed the ongoing situation in Baltimore Harbour, which has been significantly impacted by the tragic collapse of the Key Bridge. As the rescue and remediation efforts continue, the cruise line has made the decision to temporarily relocate the operations of the Carnival legend from Baltimore to Norfolk, Virginia, underscoring the logistical challenges posed by the bridge collapse. The Carnival legend, which is currently at sea, is scheduled to return from its voyage on Sunday, March 31st. Instead of docking in Baltimore as originally planned, the ship will now make its way to Norfolk on the same day. To accommodate passengers affected by this change, Carnival has arranged for complimentary bus service to transport guests back to Baltimore. Furthermore, the Carnival Legends' next seven-day itinerary, set to commence on March 31st, will operate from Norfolk and will also conclude there, marking a temporary shift in operations for the cruise line. Carnival Cruise Line has been proactive in communicating these changes to passengers on both the current and upcoming cruises, ensuring they are fully informed and can adjust their travel plans accordingly. Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Line, expressed her deep sympathies for all those affected by the bridge collapse, stating, Our thoughts remain with the impacted families and first responders in Baltimore. Duffy also acknowledged the support from President Biden, who has committed to dedicating all available resources to restore marine traffic to Baltimore Harbour as swiftly as possible. She thanked the officials in Norfolk for their quick response and support during this challenging time, and assured future cruise guests that they would be updated on when operations will return to Baltimore. As we wrap up today's voyage through the latest Carnival news, we want to take a moment to extend our deepest sympathies and thoughts from everyone here at Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. Our hearts truly go out to the victims of the Key Bridge collapse and all those affected by this tragedy. It's in times like these that the strength and unity of a community are truly tested and it's clear that the spirit of support and resilience shines brightly. We appreciate you tuning in with us today and we hope that our journey through the waves of news has provided you with valuable insights and updates. Remember, we're all part of the big, beautiful Carnival family, navigating through calm and stormy seas together. Until next time, keep your compass set to kindness and your sails adjusted for compassion. This is Madison, signing off from today's episode of Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. Stay safe and smooth sailing ahead.